Now this is a cage that I use for uh, otters. I've been using it for quite a number of years. Puts it out in the water in front of the rub. I don't use it under the ice very much, only where the rivers are. But anyway, what I do, I take my trap like this, trigger on the bottom, this minimizes her damage. I got two prongs sticking out right there. I just slip this down. By the way, your trout bait goes on that wire there. You just pulls it out, shove the trout in, make sure that he's upright. And then you lay your trap down in those two hooks right there. And then you put your end inside, make sure your things are on. And you slide it back up into place like that. Then you disconnect your your, your catches. Now what I do, I hook my catches on the inside. On the back, right there. And that's pretty hard. Anyway. And there you go. Just the catches on. Now, with your trout in, you know, in the back there. The otter sees that. That, by the way, is tied to usually a big rock. They use a bag of rocks on the end of the trap there. Just an ordinary brin bag or fox seed bag, bag I use. And I just lay a rock on it. And that's it. Put it in front of the rock, otter rope. Out. Okay, I'm going to. Uh clean one of the otters that I got the female now today so this is the tools that you're going to need you'll need a good sharp knife a paring knife a skinning knife and a scalpel I use for uh, and a spear blade a sharpening stone fine one and some WD-40 I use for for the stone sharpening stone and a fleshing beam which is I use Point, a piece of point that I use for a fleshing beam, and also a otter board. Now I don't know, I believe that one's too small. So, and there's my, I'll use a dry knife to uh, flesh, uh, take the flesh off after I rough skin the otter. It takes me roughly an hour to uh, do the job. So, oh yeah, some sawdust. You need some sawdust. And lots of uh, paper and cardboard. Fine sawdust I use and just keeps the fat down. Out. There's another otter. Right there. Yeah, big. Hey, that otter. Another one. Yeah. This <sighs> one. Oh.
Now you've got to apply pressure and pull on. Cut a vein around the neck area, not a vein. Now, this is the hotter, gotten done. Well, all I got to do now is washing with um, soapy water, warm soapy water. I always wash my for my uh, animals with uh, warm soapy water, and this is it. And it's five feet long, exactly. So it's a very, very big, big otter. Females are usually smaller than, than the males. I've got a male one I'm six feet long. Wouldn't fit on the board, so. Yep, that's it. And there's a little mark right there from the trap. More than likely they're going to mark that down.